Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to create a route table to route traffic from our subnet to our internet gateway. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, here I am in the docs. And as you can see, there's a note here. And basically, you can use a standalone route resource. Or you can define routes in line. Now, in this case, they have the routes defined in line, just like so. We're going to do it a little bit differently. We're actually going to use a route resource, which as you can see here, is also fairly straightforward, and we'll walk through this here shortly. So let's head back over to our route table. As you can see, all we basically need is the VPC ID, and then we'll provide some tags. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll open my main.tf once again, scroll down some, Let's go ahead and create that resource, AWS route table, just like so. MTC public RT, just to keep it from getting too long, and open and close our resource braces. And within here, we need to provide that VPC ID again. And as always, I'll just copy this and paste it right there. And then we'll add some tags. Name equals dev public. RT, just like so. So now that we've done that, once again, remember, we then need to add the AWS route, which is right here. And basically, we need to specify a route table ID, destination site or block, and in our case, an internet gateway. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll create that resource, AWS route, just like so. Default route is what we'll call it. This is a default route, of course, for all traffic to get to the internet. Open and close those resource braces. Route table ID equals, and we're going to need to use the AWS route table MTC public RT, AWS route table dot MTC public RT. And once again, all we need to specify is the ID. It's asking for an ID, and pretty much universally, all AWS resources are going to have this ID attribute. So then we need a destination. CIDR block, just like so. And that's going to be 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0, which means all IP addresses will head for this internet gateway. And then again, that gateway ID is now going to be AWS internet gateway, just like so, dot MTC. And as you can see, VS Code is providing me some nice little hints. So I'm just going to hit tab, internet gateway, dot ID, just like so. And if we scroll up, we can see MTC Internet Gateway right here. All right, perfect. That's all we need to add. So let's go ahead and I'm going to scroll this up. Let's go ahead and run that Terraform plan. And we should have two resources to add this time. Perfect. Two to add. We've got our route table. And we've got our route. So that's great. Let's go ahead and run our Terraform apply, auto approve. And everything was applied successfully. Let's go ahead and click on the little sprocket next to resources and see what we have to offer. So what we've deployed is a route table, AWS EC2 route table, great. And then I actually do not see a route that we want to use, so we're just going to take a look at the route table. All right, here it is. It's going to be one of these. Dev public route table. Perfect. All right, so everything has been deployed successfully. Go ahead and mark this lesson complete. Come on back to the next one, and let's continue the course.